Hello, my name is Testing Recoded, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be playing more Spyro! We're finally moving on to the second game! Is this rain ever going to stop? I've forgotten what the sun looks like. We should go on vacation. Somewhere warm. Somewhere sunny. Dragon Shores, yeah! I haven't been there since we kicked Nasty Nork's butt. How about it, Sparks? You up for a vacation at the beach? <laughs> Last one there's a Nork! <laughs> Is it working, Professor? Almost. Just a few more adjustments to these orbs and... Maybe this isn't such a good idea. Bringing a dragon here could just make Ripto more angry. Calm down, Hunter, and stop fidgeting. But you saw the professor's book. They have claws like this, and teeth like this, and they can spit fire like this. <gasps> they sound much more dangerous than Ripto. That's exactly the point. A dragon is our only chance of stopping Ripto, and you know it. It's working. It's working! I've got a dragon! Huh? Whoa! Rough landing! Hi, which way's the beach? Hmm. Huh? Hey, stop staring! Haven't you guys ever seen a dragon before? You're a dragon? You got a problem with that pussycat? Well, now, well, someone forgot to invite me to the party. Were you trying to keep something from me? A dragon? You brought a dragon to Avalar? I hate dragons. Yeah! Is that because they always beat you? I Crush, kill it, kill it! <laughs> Go, you imbecile! You hate my scepter! I'll deal with you later! How? Who was that jerk? That was Ripto, and we have to get rid of him. He's causing all sorts of trouble around here, but I haven't got time to explain. Here, take this magic guide to Avalar. It'll help you begin to understand our worlds. Right now? I have to follow Ripto and see what he's up to. I'll meet you in Summer Forest, okay? Hey, wait a minute! How do we get ourselves into these messes, pal? Maybe charging through portals? Yeah, just charging through portals. Please take this talisman of glimmer as a sign of our gratitude. Talisman? This magic portal next to me will take you to Summer Forest, one of the home worlds of Avalar. Hey, that's where we're supposed to go. Excuse me. All right. Nice. I guess that was like the, the tutorial area where you could figure out what you were doing. That's kind of nice. I like that. I did kind of like how there were like portals that you could do in any order in the first game. Oh, hello. 
We didn't get a chance to introduce ourselves before. My name is Alora. Uh, hi. I'm Spyro. What are you, some kind of goat? I'm a fawn, you dork. Oh, sorry. Did you meet the gem cutters in Glimmer? Of course! Yeah, they gave me a souvenir, too. They called it a talisman. They gave you a talisman? What, is it special? I just stuck it in the guidebook you gave me. Well, there are 14 talismans in Avalar, and they are all magical. If you can collect enough of them, they can be used to defeat Ripto. Cool! Hunter, where have you been? Oh, I, uh, got a little lost. Spyro's gonna help us collect the talismans. I am? He is. Wait, what? Look, there's no way you can get to Dragon Shores right now. Ripto and his monsters have taken over the castle here in the Summer Forest. They're going to have to go to Avalar's world and convince the inhabitants to give you their talisman. You can keep them in your guidebook. Hey, I could do that. Why doesn't the dragon just torch Ripto? Hunter, you can't even keep track of your running shoes. How can we trust you with 14 talismans? <gasps> if you come across any orbs, they're important too. But I'll tell you about them later. Okay. No, tell me about them now! I want to know what they are! Hot foot and be in Dragon Shores by lunchtime. I like how Spyro is so confident about this. Spyro, this is the homeworld called Summer Forest. There are portals to many of the Avalar worlds around here. Unfortunately, Ripto has taken over the castle, and we need your help. Start by retrieving the talismans from each of the worlds you visit. That makes sense. The losses. Let me check this one out, and I think we could end the episode there. After we complete this area, you can get this talisman. Yeti has been rampaging around our home, but we've managed to trap him by shutting all the doors. If you talk to the other brothers, they will open the gates and guide you to him. I guess that's how I get the talisman, then. Okay, give me a second. Just gotta... Stop fighting each other. All right, let's see what's what's going on. By concentrating, I should be able to open this door for you. That's pretty neat. Thanks. Don't you try and attack me like that. Right, got to charge into metal stuff. a key when you know how to chant like this. Enemies like those yaks are too big to be charged. Your flame attack should easily take care of large enemies. Oh, so that's where you're supposed to learn fl uh, flame attack. Doesn't matter. I was just going to try all the buttons in the beginning anyways. Each time you defeat an enemy, it will release a spirit particle. The spirit particles will activate the power-up in that world. If a power-up is inactive, you need to defeat more enemies. Ooh! I 
How do I get up there? Gems for days. Hey, look what I can do. That's pretty neat. But I want to collect some gems and then can you show it to me again? Oh, you're just going to continue doing it? That's okay. Oh, extra life. Nice. What have you got to say? Remember Hunter's advice. You will glide farthest if you press the jump button again at the very top of your jump. Hunter never told me that. Unless I missed something. vegetarian I think you should torch that Yeti he's pretty tough though in fact I'm not sure you're up to it activated what does it do oh oh who are you thank goodness you scared that evil spirit away but now it will hide in the statues if you were to flame all ten statues, I'm sure you would chase it away for good. They never had these, like, side objectives. I kind of like that they added these. though secrets what I was looking for. Cool, but not what I was looking for. I was looking for a statue. Oh. I thought the Yeti was tougher than that. I guess he was all bark. Ruff, ruff. <laughs> anyway. I was just guarding our sacred talisman to make sure the Yeti didn't eat it. 
Nice. Good question. Is there a statue in here? There it is. Well done, Spyro. You've scared the evil spirit away. Why don't you take this? I borrowed it from the temple. They don't need it. What is it? What? That doesn't answer my question. What is it? I'm so confused. Ah, Spyro. Welcome. We have found that hockey is a peaceful and calming sport. Would you like to join in a match against our goalkeeper? Okay. You have two minutes to score five goals in the red goal. To succeed, Spyro, you have two minutes to score five goals in the red goal. I missed it by just a second. Got it. One down, two more to go. Two down, three more to go. Three down, two more to go. All right, now that I got the hang of it, I'm, I'm winning. That's game well done. Have this. That's the second orb thingy. Can you can you tell me what it is? Cuz Would you like to try a game of one on one? I'm Come good. back if you change your mind. Hopefully somebody tells me what those are eventually. Alright, anyways, we can leave this area, see if there's a cutscene, and then if, uh, end the episode. A lot of treasure there. Oh, and it shows that I've already collected the talisman for there. That's cool. Sorry, Spyro. I'd love to teach you how to swim underwater, but not as much as I'd love to take your treasure. Oh, learn to swim underwater. So he can swim above water, he just can't swim under it. 
Okay. Oh, I could have done that one. Alright, but that's that's a good place to leave this episode. I am Testing Recoded. Thanks for watching.